As you may or may not be aware, I recently purchased not one, but two of these brand new M1 iPad Pros. And today, I wanted to test out the LiDAR capabilities of it. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the LiDAR capabilities of an M1 iPad Pro and how functional it is and how useful it is for somebody like myself who's a practicing architect here in Western Australia. So for LiDAR to be really useful, you want it to be accurate. Accuracy is one of the most important things to me as an architect when it comes to LiDAR scanning. Now, obviously I'm aware that this M1 iPad Pro won't be 100% perfect. It won't be 100% accurate with the LiDAR. We probably don't need that case, so we'll pop that over there. The LiDAR on the back of here should be relatively close. So I've got my measuring tape out, I've got my iPad, and I'm ready to do a couple scans. Now, full disclosure, I've gone ahead and downloaded a whole bunch of apps to see which ones are good and which ones will and won't make the cut. I've trimmed it down to three apps in particular that we're gonna be testing out today. So the three apps that we're talking about today is Magic Plan, Polycam, and Scanniverse. Okay, so Magic Plan is a relatively simple floor plan utensil. Basically, the purpose of it is to go around and measure the room and be able to quickly and easily tap on any object so that you're able to add a door, for example, or a window, and it automatically recognizes what it's looking at. I scanned this room as a trial to see what it would come out as, and it actually did a pretty good job. Now, unfortunately, the overall measurements weren't 100% accurate. They were actually quite far off. Out of all three apps, Magic Plan was the least accurate. Now, I don't know if that's specifically because it isn't a LiDAR-specific app. It's more so an architectural program than anything else that it missed things but it tried to analyze corners, for example, and because this table hides a corner, it really struggled to find that corner. If you were scanning a completely empty house, this app would be 100% perfect, and you wouldn't have to go ahead and take your tape measure with you to measure every single wall. Even the doors and the windows, it didn't really accurately pick up. So for example, the window to my left is approximately 1.45 meters wide, and it picked it up as only 1.38. So overall, it's not completely inaccurate, but you're still better off using either a measuring tape or a laser scanner like you usually would. Nonetheless, you can get a pretty good floor plan out of it if you're doing something like real estate floor plans and you just wanna quickly run around and capture everything as quickly as possible. This is actually really, really good. I don't think I'd be able to produce something on the computer quicker than I can do it with this just going out, wall, wall, door, door. So I think for more so of a marketing plan than an actual architectural plan or just something that you wanna quickly reference back to. This is a great backup app, but I still wouldn't use it as something to take over the physical measurements that you'd have to do on site. Unlike the other apps, Magic Plan does work in portrait and landscape mode. Both of the other two apps I'm about to discuss are fixed to portrait mode, unfortunately, so you can't turn your iPad sideways and scan the property. The more natural way, I guess, you have to run around this way. It just seems a little odd to me, but maybe they'll fix that in an update later on, whereas Magic Plan does allow you to switch and change as you like. Unfortunately, Magic Plan only produces a 2D floor plan at the end of the day. It doesn't give you a full LiDAR 3D fly through like the other two apps do, but it does produce a very good floor plan that you can actually go ahead and import into something like ArchiCAD if you wanted to. Moving on to Polycam, Polycam is a fantastic LiDAR scanner and I'm actually tossing and turning if it's my favorite out of all three of these apps that I'm reviewing today. Polycam is phenomenal. So basically it's just like Magic Floor Plan, you run around, you scan the environment and it does the LiDAR scanning for you. So overall, the end result of a full room scan isn't 100% clear you still have to make out what the objects are, what's going on in the environment, but overall, the measurements are pretty close. Unlike Magic Floor Plan, it's able to pick up when a desk is covering a corner because it's not looking for those corner nodes to actually create a floor plan. It's able to actually interpret the environment as best as possible. And to be honest, if I spent a lot more time actually scanning the environment, taking it slowly, understanding every single dot point, it probably could create something a lot better than the quick rushed 3D scan I produced. One of the best things about Polycam for me is the simple fact that the ruler tool is highly effective and highly accurate. So unlike Magic Plan where it wasn't able to pick up corners, this one you're able to measure whatever you need pretty quickly. 
It's not 100% accurate still, but it is a lot closer. So for example, this room back to front is about 3.2 meters, whereas it's only picked up 3.05. So there still is a pretty big discrepancy, but if you were going again as a backup plan to your physical measurements on site, this is actually phenomenal. Now the best thing about Polycam, which is better than any other program that we're discussing today, is the simple floor plan feature. Now, just like Magic Plan created that floor plan, it does give you a full 3D floor plan view that automatically dimensions all of the corners of the room. So for example, if you had a complex room with lots of corners, lots of truncations, it can quickly pick that up for you. It doesn't produce a highly detailed floor plan like Magic Plan does. It's not something you could export or give to somebody or use as a marketing plan. It's literally just there as an addition to that LiDAR scan that it's created. As well as giving you those overall dimensions of wall lengths, it gives you areas of walls as well. So if you were doing a LiDAR scan of a large wall, you could quickly calculate the area on site, know exactly how much wall mass you need to cover. If you're trying to build somebody for something per square meter, it's again a fantastic tool to just quickly get something together. I know I'm definitely carrying around my iPad all the time. I'm not really carrying around a measuring tape or a laser scanner ever. So if I need something quickly on site, this is definitely the go-to. The overall 3D scan as well is pretty good. It isn't 100% detailed. If I was to look around this room, for example, that I've modeled, it gets all the majority in there. So it'll pick up the memorabilia on the wall, it'll pick up the frames behind me, it'll pick up the computer, the desk, the computer underneath, it'll pick up the general shape of the chairs. It's not something that you'd be able to go into and actually model, for example, like the mouse and import it into a rendering program. Unfortunately, none of the apps I've tried and tested to date on the M1 iPad Pro have that capability to truly grasp small objects to be able to be used and implemented into a rendering program. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to and exploring more because there's a lot of real world objects I'd love to be able to produce and put into software, but for now I still haven't figured it out 100%. Just like Magicam, you can export this raw data to whatever you want. So if, for example, if I wanted to export this as a point cloud or as an OBJ that I could then import into Archicad or Twin Motion. I definitely could. I don't know how much data I'd actually preserve or how much data I'd need to preserve. This would be more so the model required just directly on this software and on the iPad. Once again with Polycam, I don't think it is the primary source of data that you should be taking on site. I definitely still think you need to take measurements by hand or with a laser scanner and not rely entirely on the LiDAR in the M1 iPad Pro. Moving on to Scaniverse. Scaniverse is very similar to Polycam. It produces a 3D LiDAR object of the room that you've scanned and it does a phenomenal job. Comparing it directly to Polycam in quality only, it produces significantly better LiDAR results. Now, you may not think this as you're using the app and using the scanner, scanning around the room. I know personally I didn't. I thought it was gonna be a much worse quality render, but at the end of the day, it produced much better shapes, much cleaner edges, and I was able to interpret the data a lot better. As a result of having much cleaner edges and a much better LiDAR scan, it therefore also produces significantly better measurements. So like I said, overall length of this room, 3.2, it picked it up as 3.15. So very, very marginally off. The window to my left, 1.5, like I previously mentioned, 1.48 on this app and on this LiDAR scan. Now, each one of those measurements is obviously not 100% correct, but I would be comfortable going back at this 3D scan and going, mm, I missed that measurement. What was it? It was it 70, was it 80 mil, was it 800, was it a meter? I could then take an informed guess at what it should be. So for example, the door, I could measure the door and go, okay, that's an 820 door or a 920 door. So just by experience and the use of this app, I think you could get some seriously good information by using all of this point cloud data. Unfortunately, unlike Magic Plan and unlike Polycam, it doesn't have a top view 3D floor plan that gives you automatic measurements. For the time being, all we have is simple touch and drag measurements. So if you want a measurement of something particular, you have to actually go out and measure it on the screen itself. It doesn't give you 
that bird's eye view that's really, really helpful. Something that it does have over the other two is potentially, in my personal opinion, a bit more gimmicky. It's not really required. You're never really gonna use it. I don't know why anybody would, but that is moving into the future. Scaniverse does have AR and object features directly built in to the LiDAR scan. So if I wanted to produce an AR version of my scan somewhere on site, bring it up, walk through with my iPad and experience it like I was there again, I could. I can't do that on any of the other two apps. It's not overly useful to me as an architect. I don't think it's overly useful to anybody. It's gimmicky like I said, but it's something pretty cool. It means we can actually bring it up to scale, walk through it, and get all those details we're looking for. If I could only pick one, I wouldn't, to be honest with you, because all three of them have different features and different functionalities. Magic Plan is phenomenal at taking those floor plans and just creating floor plans very, very quickly. I'm sure I could go around my whole house and just create a marketing floor plan and potentially even sell that to a real estate agent for a couple hundred bucks. So if that's something that you're looking to do as a side business, as a hustle, perfect app and it is phenomenally reliable. However, if you're looking for an actual point cloud LiDAR scan, that doesn't give you that through the app just yet. Polycam gives you some phenomenal features. It is very quick, very easy to use, very intuitive, and it does give you overall dimensions and areas that you might be looking for. Unfortunately, Scaniverse is significantly better in the point cloud and LiDAR information that it produces and exports, but it doesn't have those features of the overall bird's eye view, dimensions and areas. So it really does depend what you're looking for. Personally, I think I'll probably be using Scaniverse on site a lot more than anything else. If I need to, I might use Magic Floor Plan. And to be 100% honest with you, I'll most likely delete Polycam. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget about the like button. The like button helps this video with the YouTube algorithm, helps this channel grow tremendously as it has been over the past couple months. So thank you so much for being a member of this community. There's a couple links down below as well if you wanna join our Discord community where we talk about architecture, we share our experiences, and we just talk about projects in general. Also, every single tutorial I do is linked in the Discord chat so you can download all my PLN files for ARCHICAD tutorials and all my twin motion files as well. Potentially, I might start doing some Photoshop tutorials. All of that will be in the legend level Discord chat. So if that's something you wanna check out, the links are down below. But like I said, that's all for me today. So I'll see you next Monday.